How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the content if you're wanting to learn how to stream. If you're enjoying that content, definitely go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell icon. So in today's video for Streamlabs OBS, I'm going to be talking about how to use images in Streamlabs OBS. So the first thing we're going to do here, if we don't already have one created, is you're going to want to create your first scene. So to do that, you're going to go ahead and click on the little plus icon here and you're going to give it a name, click done, and then you should see your scene populate right here. Next, what you're going to want to do is go over to your sources side and you're going to click on the plus icon. You're going to go over to images. So right here is going to show you what is supported for the different types of images to be allowed to be used inside of Streamlabs OBS. So once you are sure that you're going to be able to use those, go ahead and click add source. We're going to give it a name or you could just leave it as images. I suggest giving it a name, but for this, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So we're going to hit add source and we're going to click browse. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking locally for a picture. So for me, I already have some on my desktop and I'm going to show you two different types. So the first one is going to be your basic PNG. So now I have just this one here. So I just have this one from Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. And it already comes in in its regular size of what the photo normally is. Now let's say it's too big. What you can do is you can just take your mouse to any of these little blocks on the corners. And you just grab and drag with the left click and you can make it any size you want. But let's say now it's too big. So then what you can do is you can just grab it again and pull it into it and it can make it any size you want. So then we'll just leave that guy right here and click away to unselect it. Now another trick that you guys can do once you're okay with the position that it's in, if you go down here in sources, you're going to see an eyeball and you're going to see a lock that has an unlock icon. If you click on the unlock icon, it will now turn to locked. So now I can't select it and I can't move it. This is very important to do if you have everything in a specific spot that you want to keep it in that specific spot. So I'm going to go and add a different image. So we're going to go back and click on the plus icon. We're going to go to image. We're going to click add source. And now it's going to give it to where that way it can't use the same name. It's going to show image with the number one. Now if and this is good to know if you have another scene that you want to use the same exact image, you can actually use an existing image on a different scene. And I'll get to that in just a second to show you what I mean by that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on add source and I'm going to click on this. This one is going to be a GIF. So now you can kind of see the preview of it. So I'm going to put this right on top. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to show you a little fun feature. It's, it's like a layer system. So if you're familiar with like Photoshop or anything like that, these guys in here are also treated like layers. So if you select one, now that I have that selected, and if you left click hold and drag down, now you see this, this very thin gray line. If you release, it now puts it behind the other photo. So you can treat it like a layer system. So it gives you a little bit more customization for it, which I think is pretty fun. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create another scene. So I clicked on the plus. It says new scene. I'll say OK. So now I have new scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my sources on the new scene. And I'm going to click on the plus. I'm going to go to images, add source. And now you see how it has the existing. So I'm going to click on add existing and now it's there and it's also here. So now I have it in both spots. Now I'm going to click and drag that and make it nice and large. And then I'm going to lock it. And then I'm going to go back, add image, add source. And then I'm going to grab this existing one. And now I have a very cool background to go with my halo. Now you see how it's also doing this snap. You can stop this from snapping if you do control 
and drag. Hold control and drag when you have the, the left click down. This will disable, just for a little bit, the snapping. And then I'll lock it, and now I have that. So this is a great way for you to be able to customize different scenes. Maybe you're starting soon or be right back. Maybe you want to add in your overlay and then a webcam and stuff like that. So this definitely gives you an understanding of how you can go and just simply add in images. Now there are some advanced things you can do which I'm not going to cover in this video. This is just to get you guys started. I will go into some other advanced things later on in the series. So definitely take a look at that once I get it uploaded, uh, depending on when you are watching this video. But if you have any questions about images, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.